What's up guys, Dominator101 here, and I just wanted to take some time to show off my design for a randomizer. Now, before I get started on this, I just wanted to say that the base design that I use for this is not mine, that's credited to Seth Bling. If you're watching this and don't know who Seth Bling is, you're probably the only one, but you should definitely check out his channel. He is a lot more creative than I am, and a lot better with redstone. But anyway. Seth Bling's design is basically everything you see in this line and to the left, so that. Um, I'll probably get into the details a bit later when I'm covering the details of this anyway. So basically what I wanted to do, when I what I set out to do, as you can probably tell, is create a three-way randomizer. So basically what I did here is I took Seth Bling's design, as you can see. I took basically the left half of it. And so this part, and then for the left half, I just slapped on another copy of his randomizer. Now, what this does is basically, if this gets the signal that will set off this piston, that signal will also disable this comparator, therefore not querying the output of this hopper. So basically, if this piston goes off, neither of those two will go off. Now, if this doesn't get a strong enough signal for that, the signal will come out here, it'll just go one space, and it'll die, which means nothing will be disabling this anymore, so its output will proceed to continue to either that piston or that piston, which is exactly what we want. So basically, I just stuck this, uh, this repeater here so that this will get a signal strength of 15 coming in the side, which is gonna be what disables it. So now, if we look inside these dispensers, this is the main part of what drives the uh, the numbers, what gives it a one-third chance. So in Seth Bling's design, there's just a minecart and a dirt block. But here, we want a one-third chance. So it should be pretty obvious that there's a one-third chance that this minecart will be selected, and therefore a one-third chance that this signal will come out here and set off this piston. Now, if we look in this dropper, we see it just has the minecart and one dirt block which at first may seem a little weird since we want a one-third chance. But if we break down the math of this, there's a two-thirds chance that this will not get a minecart, which means a two-thirds chance that this output will actually be allowed to proceed to one of these pistons. So basically, each of these has the two-thirds chance that this output's even considered times one-half chance that each of them has which will come out to be one-third chance for each of these pistons to go off. So, so that's basically it for the three-way randomizer. Now, what I wanted to do besides this is I wanted this to be expandable so that you could make three-way, four-way, five-way randomizers all in just a single line. So if I come over here, you can see I've built a five-way randomizer, which it's going to work on basically the same concepts that the three-way does. We're going to have five things in this dropper, four things here, three things here, and two things here, which the math is going to work out to give each of these a one-fifth chance of activating. Now, I did have to do something slightly differently over here, though. If you look over here, I'm bringing this repeater directly into the comparator next to it. Over here, however, if I just leave it at that, if I just say the signal comes out of here and we're going to disable this comparator, then when we get down here, there's nothing disabling this comparator if the first one goes off. Which means this piston would go off, but we'd also get one of these three pistons going off, which we don't want. So what I did is I had a second line of redstone here. So basically, if the signal comes out here, it will power this block, power this redstone, which will disable the one next to it, and then the other signal will come down here, come over to this block, and come up here and disable this one, while also continuing down here and disabling that one. So what this does is it makes it so that what whichever one of these uh, whichever one of these gets the minecart first, whether it be this one or this one, everything to the right of it is going to be disabled, so that we don't end up with duplicate activations because that would be very pl problematic if your randomizer gave you two answers every time. So. That's the, uh, the basics of how to make it a larger randomizer. Now, there is a limit to how much you can do this way, though. If you look in this dropper, 
obviously, it only has nine slots, which means we can basically take this exact same idea and make a 10-way randomizer out of it because we couldn't give the first one a one-tenth chance of activating. So what you can do, however, is you can work around that, as you can see here. I have a 10-way randomizer. So if we just take a look in here real quick, what I have down here is a 5-way randomizer. If I look up here, I have another 5-way randomizer. And if I come into the back here, it's kind of cramped, but this is just a 2-way randomizer. So what this is doing is, if this gets a signal of 1, it'll come up here, activate this randomizer, and I'll put one of these 5 pistons. If the signal strength is 2, it'll come down here, set off this randomizer, and set off one of those 5 pistons. So if we work out the math here, basically each one of these has a one-fifth times one-half chance of activating, which works out to be one-tenth, which is exactly what we want. So that's how you can make randomizers of larger numbers than just nine. Unfortunately, this way still does have a limit, and the reason for that is because of prime numbers. Basically, you can't use this method to create anything that is a prime number or has prime factors that are greater than technically 9, but greater than 7 because that's the largest prime we can make. So what that means is that if you want an 11-way randomizer, there's no way that we can break down 11 into uh, randomizers we can make. None of its, its only factors are 11 and 1, which we can't make, well we can make 1, but yeah. So we can't make an 11-way randomizer. Now, that also means that if we wanted a 22-way randomizer, we can't do that either. Its factors are 2 and 11, and while we can make a 2-way randomizer, we can't make an 11-way randomizer. So, that means that no 13-way randomizers, which means no 52-way randomizers, so you'll need to use a different method so that you can set up blackjack and poker in your Minecraft casino. Unless, of course, someone figures out a better way. Of, uh, of randomizing than this. Now, I know there are some other randomizers, like uh, some that just have a bunch of minecarts going around on tracks, and some that use spawners and stuff, but basically I wanted this to be just a solid one with just redstone and basically more random, so that it would, I mean, as long as, long as droppers are random, this is a truly random system. So, that's basically what I wanted to do. Now, one, one idea that me and my brother had tossed around with being able to make, say, an 11-way randomizer, it's a little messy, but if you make a 12-way randomizer and just say, if the, if the 12th one activates, just pick a new number. But obviously that's pretty messy, and depending on what number you're trying to make and how many, uh, how many dummy activations you need, it could get it could take a while to actually get you a good answer but that's just one idea um, I'm sure there's many better ones but yeah I think that's uh, pretty much it for what I wanted to cover I just wanted to thank you all for watching and uh, don't expect much from me but if there is a next time I will see you then